Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In this video I am taking a look at the Freewell 4K series all day ND filter set. Now this is a set of six slip-on filters specifically designed for the DJI Mavic Pro. Now in this kit you will have pretty much everything you need to get the best out of your footage whilst filming in bright conditions and with the CP polarizers it means you're going to be able to get that best possible look. Okay, before we start, I just want to explain a little bit about why you would want an ND filter, because not everybody is aware. Okay, on most cameras, like on the Mavic Pro and the drones, there is no iris control. So there is no way of preventing too much light entering the lens. So the way the camera software controls the exposure is by increasing the shutter speed. Now that works very, very well. Apart from when you are running a very fast shutter speed, you can get this thing called jello effect which shows you a little bit of rolling shutter and in bright conditions what's going to happen is your camera is going to chuck the shutter speed as fast as it possibly can however you're then going to make your footage look a little bit jerky and possibly shuddery and get some wavy lines through it so the trick around this is to reduce the light level that is entering the camera now we cannot do that by closing the iris because there isn't one so the trick is to use something called an ND filter and what this does is cut light without affecting the color so what you do is you put a filter on the front that reduces the amount of light entering the camera and there's a basic rule to this you want to try and get your shutter speed to be twice as fast as your frame rate that you're filming in so if your fame frame rate is 30 frames a second you want to try and set your shutter speed to 60 frames a second now as you can't manually adjust this or you can but you wouldn't get the correct exposure what you do is you use an ND filter to reduce the amount of light entering the camera and then the camera then has to keep the shutter open longer which means it's a slower shutter speed. So what you're doing is reducing the light entering the camera and then that allows you to get your shutter speed down. So whenever you use an ND filter the trick is to use the one that gets your shutter speed as close as possible to being twice your frame rate. So at 30 frames a second you want it at 60 and at 60 frames a second you want it at 120. So, looking over the set of filters, what is included is six filters in this set. You have an ND8 and an ND16, you have an ND32, so that is your three main ND filters. You've then got a circular polarizer, which I'll come on to a little bit later, and then you've got your ND8 and your ND16 both polarized as well. So what you've got is this in this set is pretty much every condition covered that you would ever need. The only thing they don't include is an ND64 and to be honest it is very rare people do need one of them but if you do need one you could still order one of them separately. Okay so let's have a look inside the box. When you open it up you will find the first thing when you pull it out you will notice that you get a free lens pen. Now if you haven't seen one of these before what a lens pen is it's a little tool for removing dust and fingerprints off your ND filters or your camera lenses. So Freewell have included one in the box on one side you've got this nice little brush which is used for just removing any dust off the lens nice and gently and on the other side you have this carbon tip. Now this is used for removing fingerprints and spots marks and things like that and all you would do is just quickly roll around like that and it would remove any of the marks and everything so that is a really nice handy thing to have also included is this nice lens cloth now again for filters this small a lens cloth is ideal really for getting rid of most of the fingerprints and touch things because you are going to touch one of these because they are so small you're going to get a fingerprint on the front and that cloth is really good for doing that the filters themselves come in this nice hard plastic case. Now um, the good thing about this is, is they are kept really solid and protected so no matter what you do your filters are not going to get damaged and they're not going to get scratched or anything like that. The other good thing to this case is when you open it up the filters are held in this foam and it means they are nice and solid so they're not going to fall out when you're in the field. You don't have to worry about them falling out as soon as you've pry open the case but they are held in place in this nice little packaging. Moving through them you can see what we've got as our circular polarizer there and then we've got our various level of ND filters. Now they don't label up the packaging there but you could stick a little pen marks on there if you wanted to. That's what I would particularly do just so you know which one is which and always put it back in the same place so you're not then messing around looking for, to figure out where the filters are. 
Okay, looking at the filters up close, you can see that they are cone shaped. They are made from aluminium. On the side, you've got the name of the filter and then you've got its rating around the side of it as well. So as you can see, this is the 4K series ND32. Now, when I talk about 4K series, what that means is this is their high-end filter set. So each filter is double-sided, multi-coated. And what that means is on both sides of the glass, so on the inside and the outside of the glass, the filter has a coating. And the benefit to that is, is it removes reflections when using it on something with existing glass like the Mavic Pro. Um, the, the reason for multi-coating means you get a far more even level of light cut basically so it means the performance across the entire length of the glass should be even and you get the correct level of light cut looking over them closely as you can see they are really really small and they are extremely light these filters each weigh approximately one gram so that means they're going to have no averse effect on your gimbal at all so it won't affect the performance of the gimbal and the good thing because they are cone shaped they don't have any effect of starting the gimbal up. As you can see in this little bit of a video, you can see it turns on with the filter in place and it has no problems whatsoever. Coming back to the filter itself, as I said, they are aluminium, very, very light. The glass is glued in place at the back of the filter really, really nicely with no excess glue or anything like that in view. When you look on the inside, because these are slip-on filters, because with the Mavic Pro, you cannot remove the lens glass, there is a small foam strip that runs around the inside. It's quite hard to show on this, but what that foam strip does is grip the filter as you put it in place on the aircraft. To put the filters on, you simply place it over the top of the camera and give it a gentle push just like this until it seats all the way down. And to remove the filters, you simply give it a slight wobble and give it a slight twist as you pull it off and it will come off nice and easily. I moved over to the circular polarizer now and as you can see when we look through it, it doesn't have the same level as light cut as the ND filters have. Now, if you don't know what a circular polarizer is, it's a method of cutting light reflections. So just like having polarized glasses, a polarized filter will remove the light reflections of certain directions. So the filter actually has to be fitted and rotated to cut the light in the direction you want. Now this is actually quite hard to demonstrate, but at the end of the video I will show you it on a computer screen because a computer screen sends out light only in certain directions. And the advantage to that is you can easily easily show the effect of the circular polarized filter. But in real world uses, what you would need to do is rotate the filter so it either cuts the reflections from the sky, which gives you a really nice, deep, saturated looking sky, or you can rotate the filter 90 degrees and it would cut the light level reflections from something like a body of water, like a pond or a river. Overall, the advantage to using a polarized filter is, is it just gives your footage that extra bit of pop. Okay, just to demonstrate this effect that a polarized filter has, I've got the camera looking at a computer screen. The reason I'm using a computer screen is because it only sends light out in specific directions. So what I'm gonna do is hold the polarized filter between the computer screen and the camera. I'm gonna rotate, and as I rotate, you'll see the image goes really dark. And then as I rotate a bit further, it comes bright again. And you can see the image, and then it comes to its brightness. And as I continue to rotate it, it goes really dark and the reason it's doing that is the polarized filter is cutting the light from the direction the screen is passing it out so a computer screen generally sends out light vertically not horizontally and what it means is when i turn the polarized filter to that point there it is cutting out all of the vertical reflected light and then when i turn it that way which is 90 degrees round it is only cutting out the horizontal light and because the monitor is putting out a lot less horizontal than vertical it has little effect. As I switch over to this bit of footage you will now see how it affects it in the real world. So we're looking at the sky and you can see as I rotate the filter around it 
makes the sky look a deep rich blue and as I rotate it on past the sky comes back to its normal colour. The difference is when it's set that it's making the sky go dark blue it is cutting the reflections from the sky and when I go to the point where it's the opposite side it is cutting the reflections from the ground. Because I'm not really looking too much at reflective water you're not seeing that and the idea of it is with an ND filter with a polarizer, it allows you just to make that sky pop that little bit more. Okay, so just to finish up then, I've been using these filters now for a little bit of time and overall I am extremely impressed. As I said earlier in the video, they are extremely light weighing at just one gram each. You've got everything you would pretty much need in this set. You've got the ND8, 16 and 32, you've got your circular polarizer and then you've got your ND8 and ND16 polarized as well. Um, the light level cuts on the back of the box, it also shows you some nice information so you're able to see how much light level each filter cuts. So the ND8 for instance cuts 3F stop of light and the ND16 cuts four f-stops of light um, so it gives you a nice hint of what's going on. Um, the circular polarized filter still has a little bit of light cut and it cuts just over one stop 1.6 n f-stops of light so it does mean that you still get a little bit of a pullback from there but overall if you are looking for a set of filters for the DJI Mavic Pro and these are the ones I would suggest you look at they do also work with the Mavic Pro Platinum and the white edition as well so all current models of the Mavic they will work with no problem at all thank you very much for watching this video and I will do another one again soon